What's up YouTube, Brownie here coming to you with another video and today we're going to hop into Seal Land. We're going to try to beat uh, Dark Seal Land 38, the boss wave. So yeah, we're <laughs> it's a challenge. It's, um, it's not an easy one, I can tell you that. Uh, we've, whoops, wrong button. We only have the two strong Transcendence heroes for Dark. We have Elena and Machman. So I'm hoping they can pull this off and sort of be the dynamic duo. <laughs> but we also have IHP right here that we're going to throw in. Um, uh, she's not really going to do anything. She's just going to die. But she, also, she does have a chance to dodge and get an attack off possibly. And uh, maybe she'll get a stun or something like that. So... We'll see what happens with her. Um, the other heroes that are going to be on the team using double carry, they both have cats because if they get an attack off, it's just going to buff our damage and defense. So that's always good. Then we have a 9-star Amon Ra that we're actually using. And that is because in round 1, you get stunned. Very, very high chance that you get stunned. And... If they kill this Amon Ra with the, you know their first hit, it's going to energy feed the front two enemies, and they will then do an active, which will trigger Elena's passive to free Machman from the stun. So yeah, uh, right here. Additionally, removes one random control effect from one ally when the enemy does an active. So yeah, that's what um, that's why I'm using the nine star Amon Ra. I would replace IHP with another carry if I had any more carries, but I don't, so yeah, we're, we're not going to do that. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do these five attempts and see, see what happens here. Um, I want to slow one attempt down so I can show you guys what I was talking about with the energy feed. So, killing that Amon Ra, they both got energy, they did their actives, and that freed the Mach Man from being stunned. So hopefully you guys saw that. Hopefully Mach Man gets a decent active here. Boom. Oh, uh, that wasn't bad. It's better than his old active uh, before he was D6, much stronger. If we could only just not get CC'd so often. Oh my gosh, their control immunity offset must be insanely high. Um, it's the only thing I can think of. All right, got freed from the stun, get the big active. We never seem to omen rift the boss. I don't get that. We could throw Drake in here too, just to see if he can um, possibly do, uh, what's it called, lower the defense enough. And holy crap, that was huge active. Are we going to actually win this? Is this going to be a thing? Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> holy shit! We got it. That's awesome. I did not expect that, actually. Elena must have dodged enough that she survived, because she, she was doing quite well there. And uh, I guess the, yeah, the carries got some attacks off, so we got our, our cat buff. Yes. Yes, I am extremely pleased with that outcome there. Um, <laughs> let's see what these uh, 39 waves do. I do not know what to expect from this. They might just destroy us. I mean, we might be able to beat a few of these waves, though. Who knows? Until we see... Oh, my God. <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty strong. Um, let's, uh, let's skip and see what happens in another attempt. I might have to try on bending the will, maybe. We'll see what happens here. Okay. Got an got our attack off now we're sealed yeah we're gonna have to do something or he's gonna have to dodge basically i think maybe we could give elena her demon bell because that will because uh, these these enemies attack the front row with their basics so we won't have to worry about her getting hit in round one and we could go with a little bit of a weaker artifact i think Let's uh, let's give this a shot. Not that she's even going to be able to energy feed him enough energy to get an active off, but 
um, her active will provide him with more dodge layers, and then maybe we can survive round two. Okay. All right, there we go. We survived round two, got an active off. Wasn't that great? But our even our Amon Ra got an active and <laughs> gave us some uh, bubbles. So maybe we'll put the E5 Amon Ra back in in place of IHP. I don't know. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there's some big kills, a big active. Oh, they got us. Look at that carry dodging. That's crazy. All right, let's try one more. We're going to put... Instead of IHP, we're going to put the E5 Amon Ra in. And there she is. Alright, let's see what happens. This, is, this will be the last attempt. Okay. And then I'll probably... I'm probably going to try to get some more carries to make this a little easier. But we got the bubbles now, so that's going to be a huge help to us. There was a nice active from Machman. Almost killed that back row one. There's the kill from the destiny skill whatever it's called all right okay looking good oh okay this is definitely possible okay let's actually try a couple more attempts because i really want to see if we can't beat this um what we're gonna do though is we're gonna switch some artifacts around and we're gonna give the carries demon bells so that way we could possibly get um, an energy feed going if they dodge and stuff and also doing their actives will hopefully keep the enemy's energy low and they won't be able to do their actives and that will in turn raise our survivability up quite a bit so we'll even give this 9 star Amin Ra um, gear and a demon bell so yeah alright this is looking like it could be a possibility. All right, let's see. Uh, we need to buy some attempts. Let's buy three of them. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, so the carries will energy feed if they dodge. The Amon Ra's will give us bubbles. That should give us enough survivability to hopefully keep everyone alive as long as the carries can energy drain. Elena will also help with the energy drain. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Okay, we've got crown on crown balance strike on Mockman still, because that's just always seems to be the best for him. Our carry survived. Okay, getting some energy drains out. We got bubbles. Everyone's looking good. Got an active from Mockman here. We even got a petrify out. From <laughs> that was from the Amon Ra, I think. Yeah. Okay, looking good so far. Everybody's Omen rifted. We're almost got a kill. We should get another active from the offensive stance here. And then we just got to kill everything one more time. <laughs> All right, now we're in our blue stance. Everybody's looking really good. These Amon Ra's are adding so much survivability, plus the carries with the energy drain. This is working out so well. Um, I'm hoping that this works for the, uh, the next wave, too, with the Warriors. I don't know if it will, though. They, I think they hit the back row with their basics. I can't remember for sure. Um, but look at these petrifies from the Amon Ra's. That's actually really crazy. It's kind of, uh, it's actually, it's really cool. I did not think they'd be able to land their, their petrifies this often. Um, I guess we're lowering their, lowering their control immunity. Or they just don't have much control immunity. But there we got the victory. Nice. All right, so let's see what this does with the next wave. I don't know, because, yeah, the, the Amon Ra's are probably just going to die. Yeah, even Machman died. Oh, gosh. And I don't want to put him in the front row. We'll just try one more attempt here. Maybe maybe one or two more attempts, just to see what's going on. All right, Machman's going to get an attack. But he's probably not going to survive. Oh, he's got stunned. Jeez. That's rough. All right, one more attempt. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we're going to leave. I just was thinking maybe we'll switch the pet, but we can't. We, we need that survivability from the... Um, oh, yeah, we're going to have to do balance strike or something. Or not balance strike, unbending will. All right, we'll do one attempt with Unbending Will just to see what the damage is like and if it could possibly be enough. Um, 
I don't think it will because I'm just going to need so much more survivability on top of having bound or unbending will because it's just going to take so many rounds to actually get the kills. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, you do only have to kill these guys once, but to get to the the actives I would need for this, I don't know. Yeah, because look how much less damage that is. I would need so many more actives to actually get kills with Unbending Will that it just is, it's almost pointless to use. Um, but yeah, let's, um, yeah, I guess we'll just call it from, for now. Uh, I'm going to have to theory craft a different team for this, this wave and yeah, but that's, uh, that's our video for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I can't believe we beat the boss 38 and yeah, uh, please like and subs please like and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.